Hey guys, what is up? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads. So today is a banner day because we are checking out the brand new AEW Fight Forever, which is releasing across all platforms on June 29th. Uh, this is the highly anticipated AEW video game. It's the first one uh, that they've ever released, and they're working, as you can see, with Ukes, who is famous for titles like uh, WCW NWO Revenge and uh, WWE uh, No Mercy on the Nintendo 64. And if you're a fan of those games, like arcade-style wrestling games, you are going to love AEW Fight Forever. Uh, I've got to put about... Honestly, we got this game about a week and a half before release date. Uh, I'm recording this um, just a few days after getting it, and I've got to put some time into it. And, and so far, I'm really impressed uh, with what you can do with this game. And it's a ton of fun to, uh, to boot on top of that. I'm going to show you around and then play a couple of matches, especially the exploding barbed wire death match, which I know a lot of people are, are really interested in. Uh, but as you can see, you start here uh, on the menu and you've got your exhibition mode with all the different kinds of matches. One-on-one -on -one tag team matches, which are called two-on-two -two matches. Three-way, four-way. The Casino Battle Royale, which uh, is a lot uh, like the Royal Rumble in WWE games that you would be uh, mindful of or remember. The Exploding Barbed Wire Death Match, a ladder match. There's some mini games and they're kind of okay. And then you can do a training mode to kind of check out your character, all while, uh, you know, entrance themes and other music that's been included in this game plays behind. Uh, but once you, you kind of drill down on these menus, uh, you can do a normal match, a lights out match, which is kind of like a hardcore match. They call it an unsanctioned match as well. And falls count anywhere. Uh, two on two uh, does not have those same options, but like when you go into a two on two match, one of the first things you're gonna see is that it takes you uh, right to uh, this where you can you can actually pick tag team so you can pick uh, death triangle you can pick dark order young bucks lucha brothers uh, best friends with the inner circle uh, interesting that they're not called less sex gods uh, as Jericho and Sammy Guevara or you can call themselves or you can pick out uh, you know um, any number of people to be on your team there and yes this game does have CM Punk uh, so, but one of the interesting things about this is that you can pick out um, intergender tag teams. So you can even have Dr. Britt Baker and uh, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, versus uh, two uh, other wrestlers of your choice. But we'll go back. We'll come back to that here in just a minute. Of course, three-way matches uh, are the same. And as you drill down to those, like right before the match, you can even pick your rules. You can turn off disqualifications. You can add. Uh, all kinds of different things uh, there. There's also an online mode, which allows you to play in ranked matches, casual matches, or private matches. A little disappointing that there's not like a, a mode where you can download created uh, wrestlers and things online, uh, but or, or arenas, because you can make custom wrestlers, custom teams, and custom arenas. Uh, and it's a shame that you can't uh, sh um, share those, but hey, maybe that's coming in another game, right? There's also the uh, single player experience, which is called Road to Elite, which I absolutely love. It's more than just wrestling matches. You actually have to manage your your wrestler or your created uh, custom wrestler as well. Uh, they can sustain injuries, which means you have to take time to go to the hospital, or you have to you have to eat to keep your energy up. You have to go out to keep their morale up, and it's just a really it's it's a lot more immersive than I thought it would be. Challenges, there's daily challenges, weekly challenges, and normal challenges. Um, and this was defeat a calm opponent on hard, defeat three, co three computer opponents on hard, uh, defeat a computer opponent in a singles match using Christian Cage, Jake Cargill, Brian Danielson, and Jeff Hardy, uh, which we'll probably do uh, just for the sake of doing that. And then there's weekly challenges as well. Uh, Ten computer opponents in singles matches using Andrade, Adam Cole, 100 strong front grapples, and then there's normal challenges, which these are just, they always exist, and you get AEW cash for these, uh, which allow you to go to the shop and buy some things, and I have been purchasing things. There's a lot more stuff to purchase, as you can see. Um, there's apparel, there's arena, well, oops. there's arena, um, 
things you can get like railing walls this is stuff you can use like during people's entrances uh, which we'll get to here in just a minute um, there's moves that you can get as you can see it'll show them over here uh, on the on the left except for some of these and I, I really believe I'm playing like a pre-release version of the game and so there are some bugs and there are some things that uh, are gonna be like this that don't work that I'm sure are gonna be fixed in the in the other uh, you know in a later release or you know probably a day one patch uh, you can do entrances here that you can unlock um, you can get you can actually when you're creating a wrestler you can choose their hand pose uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can choose an effect for when they come out. And then there's some more items here, which I've already purchased. It's additional costumes for Cody Rhodes. Uh, actually, it's, it's actually just his character. You can't, you can't play as him until you purchase him. And it's pretty cheap. But I'm sure that's a concession they had to make now that he is part of WWE. But he is a founder of AEW. And so uh, they fought really hard to keep him in the game. And I think that's pretty cool. So let's try uh, just a regular exhibition match and then we'll move on to some of the other stuff. Um, it gets you into the action really quick. Uh, you just pick your character. And then one of the things I really, I, I would say probably uh, is um, a negative about this game is the entrances like that they do, which if you watch pro wrestling, you know, entrances are pretty important. Um, they're, they're not full entrances, which was kind of disappointing. So, for the purpose of this, we're going to do, uh, let's do Kenny Omega versus uh, I just wanted to see something like, how do you change a tire on here? You have options? Manager? No? That's weird. So, I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, we'll do Kenny Omega versus Brian Danielson. Classic matchup. Um... And as you can see, here we go to a screen where you can pick your options. You can pick your arena. We're wrestling on Dynamite, which is the weekly show that comes on on Wednesday nights. Uh, you can do Dark, which used to be kind of like a supplementary YouTube show, or Rampage, which is the Friday night show, or the big four AEW pay-per-views, All Out, Full Gear, Revolution, and Double or Nothing. Uh, for this, we'll just let's just do Dynamite. Actually, you know what? It's a big match, so let's do uh, let's do Full Gear. And then let's check out the options. You can choose here uh, to, you know, have ring announcements, all kinds of stuff, matchmaking regions. So you can have blood, you can have, uh, you can turn that off or on, difficulty, all that stuff. We're gonna pay on normal. Uh, and then you've got your customizable controls and things like that. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Casual mode, I thought this was pretty good. It triggers different moves without having to use L. Uh, and easy countering allows you to counter using B, Y, or X, which I, I like to have easy counters. Um, because countering is a big part of this. Uh, and you can see DQs are on, rope breaks are on, count outs are on because of the match type. You cannot choose those. I was wrong. So, here we go. It's loading up. One of the things I, I would say is kind of a knock too here against the Switch version is you can tell the textures on the characters are not like probably up to quality like with like with PlayStation or uh, Xbox would be, uh, but that's a concession made for the Switch and I, I, I liken it to Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch. Uh, so you can also change your. Uh, your angle with L and R during this and set off fireworks with buttons, which I think is pretty cool. They had just a lot of fireworks for, for Danielson there. And then you get right into the match and we're ready to go. Uh, y is punch. You can string some things together there uh, X is kick if you hold them down you get a stronger uh, little thing here like do the drop kick or the clothesline B is grapple 
And from there, B, Y, and X all do different things. And you also have a strong grapple as well. And uh, based on where you stand around them, like while they're on the ground, the grapples change as well. We encountered that. You can also throw them in the ropes and do a little, either grab or attack on the way back. A makes you run. So you can... R picks them up. Throw them in the ropes here. Wear them down a little bit. Ah. Now I love you can hear the crowd chants. You can you can hear uh, you know they react to different things, especially if there's weapons that are used. And I, I like how it zooms in every now and then too to show you know big moves. The key feature is there at the bottom of the screen, which uh, Kenny Omega's picture is covered up right now with the Nintendo Dad's logo on our on our video here. The, there's the picture of your wrestler as well as their momentum meter. And you notice Brian Danielson's momentum meter is green and mine is turning, getting closer and closer to red. That is the way that uh, you measure how you're doing during the match. Uh, and when you get Signature, you're ready to use that. And here in the moves list, you can see that Signatures are triggered with the control pad up or down. Uh, and so we're going to try to do this power bomb V trigger combo, which is a grapple in the front. And then once you do that, when you have signature, if you taunt with the right stick, you're able to unlock special status, which means you do your finisher, uh, with the right stick. So we'll do our signature here, power bomb into the V trigger and we're ready. Oh, he rolled out of the ring. So, we're going to run, hit him with the V-Trigger again, and this time, we'll pick him up, and, oh, he get, went for the, the schoolboy pin. I'm not losing on my own video. Okay, special's about to run out, so this match is going to run a little bit longer, because I wanted to finish with that. So, you can also uh, throw people out of the ring. It's a little harder to do. Oh, we're already back to signature. Let's just go for the special. All right. Which here is called the One Winged Angel. Because Kenny's a huge video game fan. Love that move. And then you press L to pin. And hopefully we're, we did enough. I think we did. You can also take control during this and you can break out and you also <laughs> during this you have infinite special meters so you can just do you can do whatever you can do the straight into the power bomb v trigger but you only get 15 seconds you see we got a plus for health a for match time a minus for moves and match evaluation of b minus which gives us uh, the AEW cash there, as well as a uh, when you defeat a wrestler for the first time, you get their autograph on their profile. Uh, and you can see if you completed any challenges, and you can see who you did best with. I've played several matches here. So we'll exit that. And we're going to go for the exploding barbed wire death match i love this match it's so insane <laughs> the uh the ring ropes are tied in electrified barbed wire and the ring is set to explode at 120 seconds and whoever is closest to the ropes gets the most damage. Everybody's damaged. But you can't get out of it. It's like you're 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 locked in the ropes. Like you're 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 imprisoned in there. So let's see, we're gonna do uh do Adam Page. This is this is a match that 
AEW fans would like to see right now, I think. Uh, versus um, CM Punk. All right. In an exploding barbed wire death match. And we'll go, uh, let's go to All Out for this. Or no, we'll, we'll do uh, we'll do Revolution. Here we go. No rub breaks, no DQs, no count outs. Because there's just weapons all around the ring. And she can press ZR to uh, pick up weapons and just brutalize your opponents. Uh, this is more akin to a beating than... Making his way to the ring. So with having nothing to compare this to, I mean, I feel like for the Switch, it's pretty, pretty great as far as the way things look, as far as the way things play. I, like I said, I've not been able to compare it to any other type of, uh, any other system yet. You see our counter is running down, down there. And so, CM Punk is wearing me out. This is, this is not good. But, trying to, wear him down so I can throw him into the ropes. Okay, so we're now under a minute. Okay. Oh, no. You can hear the sirens going off. There's some chain wrestling here that you can you can press L and R and kind of like counter through. Okay, we're gonna try to throw him into the ropes. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's about to explode. Oh, he's gonna be in the ropes as it explodes. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> this is the most, the most insane thing. Uh, they've only done one of these matches in AEW and it did not turn out well, but this is a staple of, of like Japanese wrestling. Uh, the exploding barbed wire death match. There we go. We get him down and throw him into the this barbed wire table over here. Yeah, right into it. <laughs> Got my signature, and I don't know his. So let's see. Uh, Pop-up power bomb, uh, and the. Okay, so that would be corner in the front. So we really can't do any of those. So maybe there's just one he has if we pick him up right here. Nope. It's, it's going to be tough to do his. See if he maybe has one. Okay. Pop up power bomb. There we go. We'll hit him with the pop up power bomb again by accident. But that's going to set us up for his finisher, which is called the Dead Eye. Oh, don't touch the ropes. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks. They're, they're explosive. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, and now we're we're both bleeding. The dead eye was a grapple to the front. Okay. So tap some buttons here, see if we can get up. Oh, right into the ropes. Got the signature. We're not messing with that this time. We're just going to finish him off. Hit the finisher. Here it comes. Right into a pin. And that is the exploding barbed wire death match. And I love how the, I mean the blood stays on there. You can see the you can see the the like the marks. We'll do one more match. Yeah, I only had 13 HP. That's not good. Did not get a good score there. So let's do a, uh, let's see here. Let's do a ladder match. I've not even done one of these yet, so I it'd, be, it'd be cool to check this out. And I'll show you one of the one of the more unique characters in the game. His name is Orange Cassidy. He has a, uh, he has two stances that you can use. So we'll do uh, Orange Cassidy versus uh, Pack. This would be a good match in real life, so. This will actually allow us to go out of the ring oh, and uh, get some weapons. Ladder match. Expect the unexpected in this exciting ladder match. I think the game also would have benefited per perhaps from some commentary, you know, during matches more than just the ring announcing. But overall, I mean, you know, I said earlier, there's a little bit of, I think, gra you know, graphical issues. But I think that f for a Switch game, this looks really good. So in a ladder match, you're competing for the hanging object above the ring. A lot of times it's a belt. Uh, in this case, it's a chip that would guarantee a, a title shot in storyline. Press ZL when standing at a ladder steps to climb. You can also climb by running up the steps. Okay. So... Okay, Pac's already going out, getting the ladder. We're going. Pockets. <laughs> and he's, yeah, he's already taking the fight to me here. Uh, that's not good. Lots of damage. But we're about to come back here. Okay, so he's setting up the ladder. He's about to go. Or was. Oh, right into the ladder. Super kick. Let's go for the pockets again. Just his thing. He's he's like a slacker, so he wrestles with his hands in his pockets. Oh, there we go. We're back up.
Well, that's an interesting choice to make it Here's your chance to end the match. for ZR to grab the objects. Just don't forget, it's hardly a safe place to be. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, no. <laughs> that, oh, we're through the ring. Okay, that's a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, maybe they work on that just a little bit. It's a good first try. Oh, he's getting something. Oh, we got another ladder. Off the ladder. Here. We got chain wrestling. That was a cool man. That was a cool move. I'm not gonna lie. Let's save that. Save that highlight. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see here. What's his what's his signature? We've got the orange punch. Okay. This is a fun one. Ah. Uh straight to the finisher which is he, he countered out of okay oh I'm not getting thrown into the ladder Ooh. and that is not a ladder glitching through the mat that is um, that's what kind of it gets see through like that when you can pick it up Oh, he packs got his finisher. I may lose this one. Oh, out to the. Oh, no, 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 no. Wake up. Wake up. What? <laughs> that was <laughs> Oh, this is this match is gone. Crazy. Missed the orange bunch. But I had my signature there. I could have when I grappled him. So Oh, there we go. So now let's put him out. With the beach break. Uh, and I knocked the ladder over. So. And sometimes grabbing the ladder is not. Or grabbing the, the thing is not as good as it could be. Oh, it disoriented me. Okay. Oh, disorienting means... <laughs> I just walked right into that. Yeah, just hit me while I'm on the ground. That's... Oh, well, I haven't seen that before. I think I'm going to have to throw him out of the ring in order to... There's still a lot I'm learning about this game and a lot that it kind of like teaches you in random tutorials that pop up. So... There's there's definitely some stuff that's got to I 
hit him with the orange punch again if I can get up. All right. Still trying to figure out how to throw them out of the ring. Because it should be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. We'll do another finisher and see. Maybe this time it will knock the ladder down. I can get up there. And, yep, here we go. Got it. Yeah, that was not that was not my best effort, but it still got a four star match, A plus evaluation. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, guys, that is AEW Fight Forever, and if you pre order the game, you get uh, two characters. You get Mad Hardy and Broken Mad Hardy, and then there's DLC coming down the line that's going to add six more characters and some more mini games and uh, moves and options and different things, and so. If you're looking for an arcade style wrestling game, I know these they don't really exist on the Switch. You know, we had a WWE 2K18 back in the day. Uh, and then since then there's been like WWE Battlegrounds. And that wasn't all that great. But this is a worthy contender to the throne. And so if you're a fan of uh, that Ukes uh, Aki style no Mercy, uh, WrestleMania 2000, WCW uh, NWO Revenge. Uh, style wrestling, then this game is absolutely for you. I think you should pick it up, and uh, we should have play online. We'll have a match together. Make some creative characters. There's tons of things in there I didn't even dig into that uh, are parts of characters from other uh, organizations and New Japan and uh, Impact, even WWE, uh, that you can make probably pretty good, uh, you know, close to uh, things with that. So, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Uh, I think it's going to be very well received. And so be sure to check this out June 29th when it's out uh, for all uh, platforms. And I like I, I enjoy it on the Switch because it's portable. You can take it on the go. Uh, and so definitely be playing this as I travel this summer. So keep it locked right here at Nintendo Dads for lots more news, reviews, previews, a podcast a live every Thursday night on YouTube and Twitch as long as they allow it. And in your audio device every Friday. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.